Welcome back. Today we're going to make ravasaki, and I bet you don't know what that is. <laughs> you didn't either before you moved to Greece. That's very true. <laughs> but it is a delightful Greek appetizer that involves feta cheese from Epirus Mountain, actually, uh, puff dough, red peppers. What are they called? Florini? Florinis. Florini yeah. peppers, sugar, <laughs> lemons from our own garden, and a deep fat fryer. So that can only be good. So first we have to clean our peppers and cut them so we can make a really super delicious red pepper jam actually. And they're not very spicy. They are like, um, like I would say, peppers, like bell peppers. Like bell peppers, yeah. more flavored and aromatic. Exactly. And we just want to get rid of all our seeds. We don't want any seeds in this. And then we're going to cut it into some uh, relatively big chunks. We don't need to cut them really small because at the end here, we're going to give them a whiff with a, with a stick blender. Straight into a pot. And this is actually a recipe that we learned in one of our favorite restaurants in Astros, of all places. <laughs> uh, they make it really good. So we convinced them to give us their recipe for this. And that's the one we're following today. Yeah, so it's a la Georgia. A la Georgia, exactly. And we have, um, we have one kilo of peppers, including seeds, so probably we will have netto what, 800 grams or something like that. All our peppers are in the pot, and as I said, about approximately 800 grams. Now we're going to go in with 400 grams of sugar. Actually, George's recipe calls for one to one, but we are reducing the sugar level a little bit. Basically, what we're going to create here is a mild uh, chili jam. And if you ask me, we could have added a couple of habaneros to crank up the heat a little bit. <laughs> no, it doesn't that, call for that. You can do that all as, as you want it. We will create a chili jam in the coming weeks. That yeah, is yeah, gonna use be... your habanero for whatever you yeah. want. <laughs> so, some nice lemons, as I said, straight from the garden. And I think we need the juice of two for this portion. Oh, that's nice and juicy, look. Mm. So two will probably do it. Depends how juicy they are. If they're not too juicy, then you go in with three. It's, uh, you need to have some, some lemon juice in this. Following Georgia's advice, we give this a good st stir to combine and get sugar and lime on all the peppers. It actually smells good, the peppers. It's going to be mm. nice. And nice and mixed all together. Now we're going to cover this and leave it for about half an hour to extract some of the juices from the uh, peppers. While our peppers, they're soaking, let's prepare our ravasaki, which actually means what? <laughs> well, mainly means a secret love note. Okay. Say, yeah. <laughs> Once upon a time when people couldn't really flirt in open, that's how they were communicating. <laughs> okay. Well, I've taken a sheet of our uh, dough here and I've just cut it a little bit because otherwise it's way too big for for this and we take a piece of feta like this at the end and then we're going to fold the top over here and the sides like this so we have it nice and straight and then we just beaten up an egg that we're going to give it a little bit of what shall we call it dough glue here so things they stick together because as you have probably already guessed this is going to go in the deep fat fryer <laughs> when we are finished, so that looks good. Then we fold it over here once and give it a little bit more here on the side so we're sure we get a good... And one more time, like that. And then we cut off the excess because we don't want too much of, uh, of dough, then it's just, then it becomes not nice. It has to have a balance. There you have a nice little package and actually, the beauty about this is... That looks like an ovocycle. Like exactly, a so that's probably where it comes <laughs> <So> from. <cute. laughs> but anyway, the beauty about this is that you can freeze them and then you can cook them whenever you need them. So you can make a bunch of these. We folded all of them and we put them in Ziploc bags so they can go straight in the freezer. We're not going to cook all of them today, obviously. But the two we are going to cook, we are also going to put in the freezer so they cool down, so they get nice and firm because they are very fragile. And if you cook them now, you risk to rip the, uh, the dough. So in the freezer they go, and then we will get moving on our jam. Let's see how our peppers they're doing. And that's looking good. And look, a lot of liquid came out mm. here 
And it smells good, actually. I the can lemon smell it all the way here. They're very yeah, aromatic, yeah, yeah. these peppers. We're going to add about 200 milliliter of water. It's not an exact measurement or a cup of water. It doesn't really matter, but a little bit of water and get it mixed in. And then we're going to get a burner started here on high. We're going to bring this to a boil. And once it's at a boil, we're going to reduce it to low and let it simmer for probably half an hour until we reach the right consistency. We're going to show you how it should look. We've been simmering away for 40 minutes and now you can see the peppers, they are starting to, to break up and become really, really soft. Still, now it's hot, it looks very liquidish, but with the sugar it will thicken up nicely when it cools down. So we're going to kill the heat. I'm just going to move it a little bit here so you better see. And then we're going to give it a blitz with our immersion blender. Be careful, it's is hot now, so don't be too vigorous about it. But you don't want either to, to give it too much. You want it to be a little bit chunky, so just break it up a little bit here. And when we are here, where well, we still have some pieces left, the chunks, we have a nice, beautiful marmalade that we're going to let cool down. Our jam has cooled down and it looks magnificent. Our lavasaki is slightly frozen and our oil is hot as <laughs> hell. So, so we are ready. We are ready to go. Here, we are going to take two of these and then we're going to hold them a little bit like this and let them start to fry before you let go so they don't stick to the bottom. And don't put more than two because that will cool down the oil too much. There we go. In they go. And there. And that will take, I don't know, probably five, six minutes, seven minutes. We'll see. Check them when they are nice and golden. These are looking golden and nice now. Check a look at this. It's like... Ooh. Impressive. Beautiful. <laughs> now let them drip a bit here and then we get yeah, them out. It doesn't matter. Some cheese might drip out, but that's ah, normal. That's okay. Yeah, Let's of get them out on some paper. They are looking really, really it fantastic. Smells, it smells excellent. Oh, it smells so good. Like, you have that's no like idea. grilled cheese in the next level. That's for sure. <laughs> now we're going to let these cool down because they are hot as hell right now. So. We let them cool down for four or five minutes and then we plate them up. Here they are, our beauties, and they're <laughs> looking real good actually. So um, good. <laughs> they are. <laughs> so let's cut into them so we can see how we did here. Let me split this one in two here. Oof. Ah, but look at that. And perfectly melted cheese inside. It's just It is a perfect. love note. <laughs> it is a love note. So and now comes the topping our nice mild chili jam here over the top. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's just beautiful. A little bit more because you cannot have enough of this. This is just so good. Time for me to see if I made Georgina proud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so nice. And you see the cheese, it's just so perfect. And the mild chili jam, I'm looking forward. <laughs> That's a fantastic appetizer. The mild pepper chili jam there is perfect. It matches so nicely the salty feta with the crust outside. We just love this recipe and you really should give this a try.